If you're a gamer who's always wanted to build your own rig, but you're too intimidated about the process, well today we've got the perfect solution for you. Joining us today we have Eugene from MSI. Hey Eugene, welcome into DIY Garage. What's up man, thanks for having me. Well thanks for being here and I see you brought with you a pretty cool looking PC. What am I looking at? You are looking at the newest MSI Aegis Gaming Barebone PC. Barebone PC? Yep. What does that mean? So when you're looking at a barebone, it comes with the case, it comes with a motherboard, it comes with a CPU cooler, and it comes with a 600 watt power supply. So tell me about this design. Installed on the front is what we call Mystic Lights. Okay. It is a you know RGB uh, light system that's controlled via a MSI gaming app, and you can control it and you know change the different modes such as gaming, breathing, audio, um, just to you know tailor this system to how you want your setup to look like at home. So it's great that you want to go in and you want to flex your muscles. That's wonderful and exactly. good. But does it actually have any muscle? Yes, it does. Well, if you take a look at the, the, the MSI Aegis, we have a couple of other features such as uh, silent storm cooling. So as you, you know, install your, your components, one of the main things is can it handle the heat? And yeah, what well, obviously a smaller case is going to get hotter. Exactly. So because it's a smaller case, we you know, designed this to make sure that it can take the heat um, out of the system uh, to be able to handle whatever you put into it. So when we're talking about a bare bone system, and correct me if this is a wrong assumption, but the way, I'm, um, the way I would describe it, the, or the way that I'm interpreting it, is it's basically you're buying a third of a computer that's already halfway built. Exactly, so you can buy the Aegis as your starting foundation to your next gaming PC and choose what kind of hardware that you want to add into it for your performance. So you can tailor it to what kind of games you want to play. So when we talk about the hardware that's included, the motherboard, what is it supporting? Uh, is it the latest Intel processors, the yes. Skylake? So this comes with a B150 chipset. Okay. Uh, it allows you to put any of the Skylake processors into it. So you know, you're set for, for the CPU side. And as far as audio? We actually incorporated a couple of interesting things. One of the features is called Audio Boost. It is a hardware amplifier. Uh, you know, if you plug in a headset, you know, it'll definitely bump up the, the, the sound volume right. for you as well as the clarity. Yeah, there's nothing that frustrates me more is plugging in headphones. I get my volume cranked all the way up, but it's just not quite loud enough. Exactly. And then I, you know, you either have to buy a separate amplifier, or hopefully you buy a motherboard where the amp is already built in. Yep, and in this case, the amp is already built in for you. Okay, now uh, I also noticed there's an optical drive. Yes, there is. Uh, on the very top, there is a slim DVD optical drive. That's great. You know, there's some debate over whether or not that's needed or not, but I, I still like to have it personally. Yep. I mean, some people still, you know, use the optical disc that games include, you know, just in case you have, you know, a 50 gigabyte download and... Well, the bottom line is, in order to be able to install your operating system, you need it on USB, and you almost need another computer to create that USB. Exactly. Although Microsoft does sell it as a USB, mm -hmm. Uh, not everybody has that. So I, I would rather have an optical drive that I don't need than need an optical drive that I don't have. Definitely. So when we're, when we're talking about the internals, uh, as a PC builder, what appeals to me about a bare bone system just like this is that uh, a lot of the intimidation has been removed. So the cabling's more or less already done. Motherboard's already installed. So you don't have to worry about the standoffs touching or anything like that. Uh, power supply is included and installed and you've got up to 600 watts of power to play with, which translates to what? Like when I'm picking a video card, is there a limit? Or can I install the, the best video card out there today and have enough power to drive that? So because we incorporated a 600 watt power supply, you can actually fit up to a 980 Ti. And especially with the 1070 and 1080 coming out soon, you can put that in right, right away. No problems, just, just no, put it in there. No problems. I always like to encourage people to build their own computer. So there's the pre-built systems where you just take it off the shelf, take it home, plug it in and play. You don't really have a whole lot of choice about what you're getting. And sometimes to get those price points down, some of the components are proprietary, meaning you can't upgrade them. What I like about a bare bones machine is there tends to be this extreme that you go from either buying a machine that's pre-built, which is you're gonna get what you're gonna get, mm -hmm. or having to do all the work and figure out what works with what and do all the cabling. And it's one extreme to the other. So with a bare bone system, you're kind of in the middle there, where your motherboard's already installed, your cable management's already done. So all we're doing is we're, we're putting in a CPU, we're putting in RAM, we're putting in a video card, and I guess we have to load our OS. Am I missing anything? Hard drive. Oh yeah, I guess we're gonna need a hard drive, yes. aren't we? And when it comes to RAM, now usually these smaller systems don't, uh, don't often take the regular desktop RAM. I have to assume 
we're using... Aegis actually uses sodium RAM. So it's using what we often refer to as a laptop, laptop RAM memory. Yes. And how many sockets? Uh, there is two sockets for the sodiums, and you are going to be using DDR4. So DDR4, which of course, with the Skylake processor. Yep. Now, what's the maximum amount of RAM I can put in? You can put up to 32 gigabytes. Oh, that'll cover it. Yep. Yeah, that'll Plenty. cover it for today. So basically, depending on how what your budget is and how you choose to uh, to arm this system, mm -hmm. is going to determine its capability. Yep. So to put this in other terms, let's go ahead and take the covers off of this and show people what they're actually buying. All right, now we've removed all the panels so you can see exactly what you're getting when you're buying this new MSI Aegis bare bones system. So from the top off, I can already see our optical drive here on top. I see the space for the drive here. As we spin it around, as you can see, 95% of your cable management's already done for you. This fan here, the heat sink, that's all included. It is included with the Aegis. A couple of screws and it just pops off. Exactly. That was easy. Yes. And I see the actual heat sinks underneath it. This is just the fan. They're just the fan, yes. And uh, any Skylake processor, pop, pop that in there. I, there's a DDR4 SODIM socket on this side. And if we spin it around, right around here, you'll see there's a DDR4 socket on this side. Also, I see another socket right here. That is the M.2 PCIe SSD slot. So we've got an M.2 socket, two and a half inch dry bay. Then I also see, let's bring it back around, a large cage right over here for two, three and a half inches. Yes, yeah, so all you have to do is take off the optical drive and you can access your two, three and, and a half. And they come in from the top. Exactly. How many of these drives can you use at once? All of them. So I can have an M.2 and an SSD and two, three and a half inch drives? Exactly. That's interesting because in other builds, I've noticed that when I use an M.2, I can't use SATA port one. Mm -hmm. But in this case, yes, I can. you can use all, all four drives at the same time. That's incredible storage for such a small box. Yep. That way you can have your performance, so you're booting quickly with your SSD, and you can have as much capacity as you can afford, basically, yep. when it comes to your hard drive. Exactly. Or if you're on a budget, then you can obviously just run the hard drive only. Yep. I also noticed this handle right here. So clearly this is designed to be able to take with you to LAN parties and, and be portable. Exactly. So when we were designing the Aegis, we wanted to appeal to all the gamers who do still love going to LAN parties, taking it to your friend's house, playing games, and we built a built-in handle for you to easily take around. All right, now looking at the back of the machine at our I.O., let's talk about what we've got here. Starting at the top, I see we've got our audio. Yes, yeah, so we have all of your audio connectors up top, including a optical out, followed by four USB 3.1s and two USB 2.0s, your gigabit LAN, as well as a PS2 connector. And then followed with that is also the DisplayPort and HDMI. That's interesting that the DisplayPort and HDMI are there when it's a gaming machine, and you wouldn't normally use these, but the modern Intel Skylake processors have built-in Intel graphics on the CPU. Exactly. And one of the benefits of buying a bare-bones system is maybe you can't afford the entire gaming system of your dreams yet, but you could get this without any video card, Yep. with your RAM, CPU, and hard drive, be able to use this machine, do some light gaming. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. not too, too intense. And maybe it's not even a budget issue. Maybe that new video card's coming out next and month. And you want to you wait. There's always another one coming out. If you wait, by the way, you will wait forever because there's always oh, a better there's always, one coming yeah. out. But at some point, when you want to pull the trigger on that, you, you, you don't have to wait and postpone your whole system build. You can have the system today, get that video card later on because let's face it, at the price points we're talking about, high-end video card costs as much as this whole computer or, and then some. Exactly, yeah. So at least now you're, you're starting with your base, you can get all of the, the majority of the work done, get your operating system installed and configured, and you're ready to rock and roll when you want to pop that card in. Yep. So I think that's brilliant to have that on there. Mm -hmm. And it's just a default. Most people probably, if they're gamers, aren't going to use right. it at all. But it's nice to know that it's just not there for looks. It's, 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 it serves a purpose. Yes. All right, let's spin it around to the front, and you can tell us what our front port I.O. is. I can already tell right about here is our power button. Yep, you got your power button, you got your mic in, your audio out, and then if you move over to this side, you have the USB 3.1 Type-C, as well as two USB 2.0s. And one of the USB 2.0s has the supercharger function. Well, that's great. So obviously, if you've got your smartphone with you, that's often something we need to keep charging up. Mm -hmm. uh, with the supercharging port, it just charges it the much, much faster. Yeah. All right, I want to spin it back around because I want to talk for a minute about this little power supply here in the back, and it's in a weird place. 
I'm sure this is all for a reason. Yeah, sure. So actually, it's not that little. It's a 600 watt power supply. And the reason why it's in a weird position is we wanted to build it into the base because of a feature of what we call Silent Storm Cooling 2. The whole concept behind that is to remove the power supply heat from the main compartment of the Aegis itself. So you take away that, that heat source from the power supply and your main compartment where all your important you know, performance components are is uh, much cooler. Much cooler means fans don't have to run as fast, which means it's going to be quieter. I get that. That makes exactly. sense. And 600 watts, that's going to cover us for all the hardware, right? So we can, in fact, put whatever video card we want. Yep, as long as it fits in the case. As long as it fits. Yep. But that includes the top of the line cards. 980 Ti is going to fit. Yes, GTX 1080. 980. So 10 and 70, 1080 will fit in the, the MSI Aegis. Radeon's going to fit. Uh, as long as it's not the long, long triple fan cards, they'll fit. They will fit. Yep. So we just have to watch the length of the card. That's it. And not necessarily the power of the card. No. That's the emphasis. Yeah. All right. So if it fits, it's going to work. Yes. All right. And then, of course, 600 watts, as I mentioned, that covers even if you want to put all your drives in, you never have to upgrade this power supply. No, you do not. All right. Now, here's what your system is going to look like when it's all assembled. And I also understand there's some software that's included. Yes. Yeah, so it comes with a software called MSI DragonEye. Uh, and what MSI DragonEye is, is you can actually watch videos, you know, walk through streams, and you can overlay it on top of your gameplay. Picture in picture? Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Picture so in I picture. can like watch a walkthrough of the game as I'm playing the game. Exactly. And you don't need a second monitor to do it. Hey, Eugene, thanks so much for coming in studio today and sharing with us all the information on the brand new MSI Aegis Gaming Bare Bones computer. Yep. Thanks for having me. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we have. And certainly you can let us know by clicking the like button and leaving a comment in the section below. And for more great content from Newegg, be sure and check out our brand new video shopping platform at Newegg.tv. For Newegg TV and DIY Garage, I'm Kerry Holzman, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.